Hello! The following session is a remedial series for the shoulder and shoulder blade for therapy and prevention for a healthy shoulder function. We'll start on all fours. Make sure you place your hands underneath your shoulders and the knees underneath your hips. Starting here with the shoulder girdle, articulating the shoulder blades. So you're sinking between your shoulder blades, letting the chest drop towards the mat. And then you're pushing apart, pushing the shoulder blades apart wide, making sure this is a movement of your shoulder blades and not the spine bulging and extending. So you want to have a feeling of collapsing into the shoulders, hanging in there, and then pushing out, lifting your chest up high above the mat. Make sure you're aligning your head so your neck stays in the same line as the rest of the spine. Meanwhile, you're pulling your navel in, you're closing your rib cage, and then stay up there in a moderately wide, pushed out position. Inhale here and on your exhale, try to lift off the weight of one hand, not changing anything else. And then bring that hand back down. On your next exhale, lift the weight of the other hand, making sure the weight bearing shoulder stays stable the way you just set it up nicely shoulder pulled away from the ear, the shoulder blade snug with your rib cage. And try to keep your pelvis in the center. You'll feel your transverse abdominis active. You need your obliques to be active. And then take a break in the child pose. Let your arms reach as far forward as you can to open up the shoulder to mobilize into that flexion elevation. And then get back onto all fours. Nicely set up on the shoulders, shoulder blades wide. So you don't want to collapse into the shoulder blades. You don't want to bulge, but you just want to be in a neutral spine, shoulder blades snug. And then tuck your, your toes under, inhale. On your exhale, pull the abs in tight and just hover your knees and test the stability of the shoulders. Inhale back on the mat. Exhale, lifting off the mat. Chin close to your chest, elongated in your neck. Inhale, knees down on the mat. Exhale, peel them off and pull the abs in tight. Feel that whole abdominal wall hugging into your back. Have a tiny bit of squeeze in the glutes. Feel the pelvic floor very active. Pulled in and up into the abdomen. And then keep working on the width of the shoulders. The width across your collarbones. Maybe you can even take it one step further and do tiny little pulses here. This might be too hard at this point. Skip it if you have to sit back into a child pose a little earlier. And four, three, two, one. And then knees down, child pose for a stretch. And then roll up seated on your heels. Find a nice posture. Take the hands behind your back and just open the shoulders. And then take one arm across, gently pull it over, making sure you're not going into a pinching of the shoulder and the other side too. And then 
one arm up into a side bend. Same thing here. You might have to limit your range of motion if you feel the shoulder pinching. Coming back, going to the other side. Try to drop that shoulder, the opposite shoulder down. Make sure you get the stretch in the neck too. And then release back to the center. I've got hand weights here. They're uh, one or two pounds, which you can use. They might be too much though, if your shoulder is weak or painful. So I'm gonna just place them ready to use. Let's go on the stomach now. And place your forehead into the mat and your arms down your side. Make sure you plant your pubic bone into the mat. You pull your, your navel into your spine and then let your shoulders just drop down to the mat. Inhale. Exhale and just pull the shoulders back. Not even lifting the head quite yet, but just articulating the shoulder girdle. Let the shoulders sink down and then on your exhale, activate your core, pull the shoulders back. Hands are still in the mat, on the floor. And then add the head. Inhale, releasing down, exhale, lift the head. The hands are still down. Inhale down, let the shoulders drop. Exhale, pull them back, lift the head, engage your glutes, stretch your legs away. And then if you're ready, lift the arms with or without the weights in your hands. Releasing down. Exhale, lift. And again, the shoulder blades want to be close to your rib cage. You don't want to see any bone sticking out. And if you can, stay up here now and just do tiny little lifts with the arms, keeping the shoulder, shoulder blades in place, shoulder joints nicely pulled back and centered, length in your neck. You need your core active, your navel pulling out of the mat into the spine. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Release down. And then bring the arms up into a W. Inhale here and exhale. Lift the arms. And again, this might be better without the weights, depending on the state you're in. Inhale down. Exhale, lift. Now try to have the hands on the same level as the elbows. That requires the rotator cuff to be active, the external rotators of the rotator cuff, which play a main part in the stability of the shoulder joint. Exhale, lift. Hover the hands, hover the elbows. And just two more. Definitely working the back extensors and the glutes too. And then release. And just give your pelvis a little wiggle. And then turn onto your right side. Making sure you've got stability with your legs bent. The arm that you're lying on, your right arm is extended up. And then bring your elbow into your side and get ready for an external rotation here. Inhale down, internal rotation and external rotation. 
So to be very mindful, nicely articulated in the shoulder joint. Keep activity in the core. Exhale on the external rotation. And hopefully you'll feel that activity in the back of the shoulder. And try to have the shoulder blade nicely hugged into your rib cage. I'm going to do the second side facing away from you. So you'll see my back. And then hold the arm in a moderate position. You've got that external rotational activity. And then just bring the arm up overhead and back. Moving it up. Connect to your core. Make sure that pelvic floor is active. Your transverse is active. Just one more. And extend your arm down for a moment. Just regroup. Give your shoulder a little wiggle and shake. And then just lift the arm sideways up and overhead. No pinching. Limit your range of motion if that's the case. And back. While doing this, think of your shoulder blade leaning into an imaginary wall behind you. The shoulder blade needs to slowly turn and slide to make room for your shoulder joint. So don't try and just squeeze it into your spine, but try to work it, move it moderately. So think of it being nice and hugged in no bones sticking out, but gently turning and moving along. And release after this. We're going to turn onto the back. Have your arms next to your body either side. Let me just get into the center of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale. We're going to move up into a bridge. So peeling off from your tailbone and then slowly vertebra by vertebra all the way up into a bridge. Now here, move the arms overhead in a big circle as far up as you can. And then slowly roll down on an exhale. Try to pull the abs in tight and open the shoulders even more. This is articulating, mobilizing the thoracic spine as well. Now inhale, arms are coming down. Exhale, move up vertebra by vertebra, pulling the abs in. Keep your toes wide, feet pressing into the mat. Inhale, the arms are going up. And then exhale, articulating your thoracic spine, lengthening through your neck, opening the shoulders. Now feel the shoulder blades stable in the rib cage and pull the arms down. And you can see that I've got my thumbs up as I go up, go up again. So you have an external rotation in the shoulder joint, which creates some space in the joint. And then slowly down on the exhale. Now this time just bring the arms up to the ceiling. And we'll do the same thing as we did on all fours. But this time you're going to have the feedback of the shoulder blades in the mat. So inhale here. On your exhale, push the arms to the ceiling and the shoulder blades will widen and then sink back into the mat and just move together slightly and then you pull them apart 
this is according to all fours where you're pushed out and then you're sinking in gently so you want to work shoulder blades only keeping the neck nice and long this is activating your serratus a very important muscle for your shoulder blade mobility and stability and then feel the shoulder blades hugged into the mat feel them wide and turn the palms forward bend your elbows and then push up feel feeling the shoulder blades in the mat you got all that feedback so think of the imprint of the shoulder blades you're getting in the mat And we'll have two more and one more and we'll stay in the bend slightly hovering in the elbows now let the hands slowly move down you have an internal rotation now now move it back and into the external rotation so you're switching between the activity of the internal rotators and the external rotators. And you want to think of the ball moving in the socket in your shoulder joint, nicely centered. Think of the ball being sucked into the joint which will activate your rotator cuff. And it's important to hover the elbows so you're in a physiological position for the shoulder joint and not too far behind your midline. This is where you can work your stability the best, where you can have the best activity of your rotator cuff. And then hold your arms up, push up one more time, all the way overhead with your arms, moving up into a bridge, inhale at the top, exhale slowly down, and then bring the arms back too moving on to the other side so i'm going to show you my back and you're lying on the left arm now bend your knees for stability we'll have the elbow in the side and we're going into an internal rotation and external rotation Keep your neck long, so make sure your head is pulled back. Keep your transverse active. And you should feel into the back of the shoulder. You've got your external rotators of the rotator cuff. Two more. And one more. And then hold the hand on the same level as the elbow and bring the arm forward and up and back on a horizontal stabilizing in the shoulder joint stabilizing in the shoulder blade if you want to separate between upper arm and shoulder blade without keeping the scapula the shoulder blade rigid so the shoulder blade has to move nicely coordinated with the arm and we'll have two more and 
and then bring the arm down, extend it down, give your shoulder a little wiggle, a little blood flow back into the muscles and then just bring the arm up over the side as far as you feel centered and good in your shoulder no pinching and no pain and reconnect your abs Connect the ribs into your midline, to your navel, the pelvic floor active. Last one here. And release it. And then let's get onto all fours. Getting rid of the weights if you've been using them. Onto your hands one more time. And we're going to go into a cat and a cow stretch. So now we are moving the spine. and take a twist one arm underneath the other thread it through now here you might want to stretch into the shoulder a little more or go further into the spine and then try the other side cross-legged and take the arms up as far as your shoulder allows bring the palms together and feel centered through your midline thank you for trying for giving it a try and please comment below ask any questions you've got